Good afternoon, folks. We're back working on this Craftsman 5.5 um, horsepower motor. I um, had a little bit of an oil and gas catastrophe um, and still dealing with rust on the thing, but the motor's still good. We just need to replace a gas line. I was able to pick up this nice gas line here. <clears throat> I believe it was from the brand name Arnold pretty long comes with the shutoff valve and <clears throat> sorry about that two metal pieces two metal clamps sorry and um we're gonna go from here here to here so you're gonna make that beautiful corner we might replace the um gas um the the, the shutoff valve maybe not though um, so, uh, remove the gas line. Normally it has the two things. We're gonna remove this. Probably gonna replace this line too. Um, I just need to get to it. I also got some carb cleaner to spray in the carb. Because I've been working on that lawnmower, as you know. And, uh, that's given me some trouble. So, I'm waiting for the customer to get back a hold of me. For, um, parts. Or to, not parts, sorry, to let them know what's going on. So I'm going to get to this and I might pop back in before this video is over and show you all what's up. And it's that easy. Not leaking. Not leaking. And so you guys believe me. There's really gas in there. I put a little too much by accident. And um, I'm going to fire this up. Be right back. I forgot I took the spark plug. I forgot I took the spark plug out. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, it was a little smoky when it first started up because it hasn't ran in a couple months because I haven't, uh, I've been doing other things and I haven't been mowing lawns. Even though it's still something on my mind, just haven't been doing it. I've kept the mower, of course. It's a decent mower. I'm not just going to sell it, um, yet. So, I'm gonna fire back up. One pole, hopefully. Okay, like it's supposed to. It just sits here at an idle. It's doing a lot better than it did when I first got this thing. I can't remember if I told you guys the backstory or not, but it was, it was um, in a very bad, bad place. But, we're doing good now. And it just runs. I need to put the air, the air filter and the air filter cover back on. And um, the um, the belt's not dragging anymore. And when I mean by <laughs> don't have my earbuds in. And what I mean by dragging is um, you would engage the self-propelled. And it would go, and you'd let go, and then you would make sure it's disengaged all the way. It would still go on its own. I haven't got screws for it, because I just, it's easier for me to look at if I need to. This was a lot tighter when I first got it. It's had time to stretch out, and uh, the reason I left the screws off is because when I'm done mowing the lawn, I normally check it and uh, clean all this out and make sure that these casters, pulleys, sorry, can all freely move besides this one this one's freely moved this way but not this way so you know making sure they're all there's nothing in the way of itself it, yeah so now that I got it back running and stuff like that I need to clean it all up but I'm happy now it's um it's definitely been a lot of fun working on this craftsman mower I love this thing it's older don't have the right back for it it's a nice little lawnmower for what it is. I don't remember if I've done a video. I uh, sprayed uh, some spray paint black on here to help it from rusting. I know that it's kind of already rusted enough that it's um, starting to actually fall apart. But this motor is in... Uh, should not touch that. This motor is in good condition. Anyways, enough blabbering. I'm going to clean this up, put it away. And go work on the other mess.
the other one. <laughs> Talk to you later. Up to 88.